Hello guys, today I want to quickly show you one middleware trick which is inspired by a tweet by Dan Pastori. Did you know that in the middleware, if you use route model binding, you can have request route and it will return the model, not the ID of the route, but the full model. Let's take a look at an example. So imagine you have a route model binding on two parameters with the route of in the routes web, this one. So you have companies, company, products, and product. So two parameters, company ID and product ID in the URL. And then you want to check if that product belongs to that company. So product has a relationship of belongs to company. And then in the list of the products, you have that route, you pass both companies, and you want to add a middleware to check if that product belongs to that company. And this is, by the way, generated with our quickadminpanel.com. So if you want to generate a similar admin panel, you can check that out. But anyway, when you click view, the URL is companies ID, products ID. And if the company is different, for example, companies three, that would throw forbidden page. So you can assign a middleware like check company product, for example, which is registered in app HTTP kernel with middleware class. And this is the main trick. In the middleware, you have request route to both company and product as models. So you can directly use them like this, product company ID and company ID, like they are eloquent models, not just IDs from the URL, not just strings. For that to work in the products controller, you have to use route model binding properly. So in the show method here, you need to have company and product and the variable name should correspond company product to these parameters so company and product and then that middleware will contain eloquent models as request route not just strings so this is just a quick tip i wanted you to know if you want more quick tips i have a full repository of quick tips on laravel free on github more than 250 tips so you can check that out laravel daily laravel tips on github and also subscribe to this channel because i keep shooting daily video with tips like this one see you guys in other videos